Hi everyone, I'm Haley Conradi, Product Manager on the Google Maps Platform team, and I'm joined today by Ken Navarez, Developer Solutions Engineer. Today we're excited to share our latest product launches announced just a few weeks ago at Google I.O. in Mountain View, California. At Google Maps Platform, we're always looking for opportunities to continue to evolve alongside our developer community. We've expanded from simple 2D maps to high resolution satellite imagery to realistic 3D models of the real world. And we'll continue to invest in new innovations to help our developers. At Google I.O., we made some exciting announcements and introduced new products designed to help you more easily create immersive experiences in your applications. Our goal is to make it easier and faster for your users to orient themselves in the real world and find the places they're looking for, while making it even easier and faster for you to build with Google Maps Platform. As many of you already know, Maps JavaScript has been our longest standing Maps API. And for some of you, the first product you use to build a dynamic mapping experience with Google. Maps JavaScript has powered websites and applications with our rich base map and places information that includes more than 250 million places and businesses around the world. It's fueled innovation shaping the way we book vacations, order food, or simply locate a new coffee shop. But we see maps as more than just a utility as they're becoming more immersive than ever before. At Google I.O., we announced the experimental release of photorealistic 3D maps in the Maps JavaScript API. This release gives you access to a real-world canvas that's powered by Google's rendering technology in Maps JavaScript for the first time. We're very excited about this new product for a number of reasons. For starters, one of the top requests from our developers has been to be able to access an Earth-like 3D experience directly in Maps JavaScript. Now, by combining the power of 3D natively rendered in a familiar development framework, you can easily deliver 3D mapping experiences, and even better, at the speed your users expect. By using 3D maps, this also means you can focus more time on building your application and less time worrying about selecting a renderer or building capabilities in-house. You can also simply get started with just a single line of code. So what does this bring to your applications? 3D Maps includes Google's extensive high-resolution 3D imagery with coverage in over 2,500 cities and in more than 50 countries around the world. This also means your 3D Canvas automatically includes all the rich places data and labeling that you and your users expect from a Google Map. Having a comprehensive map like this makes it possible to deliver impressive 3D visualizations so that your users can virtually explore an area, tour a location, or visualize spatial patterns. Like other features in Maps JavaScript, 3D Maps was designed as a web component for even easier development using HTML or JavaScript. Using these elements, you can overlay and style polygons and polylines, add a third dimension with extrusion, and control the visibility to expose the underlying 3D map features. Customizing these visualizations allows you to tailor your 3D map, whether you're trying to highlight a specific area of interest, visualize a route, or draw attention to key location-based information. 3D Maps seamlessly provides a real-world backdrop for your web or mobile web experience, enabling views from block or city level to a full globe view. You can customize your experience with flexible camera controls and event listeners. This allows you to orient the 3D map around specific locations, create more guided exploration within the 3D scene, and directly respond to user interactions. These simple optimizations can really help create a more dynamic and engaging map experience. As a reminder, last year we introduced Aerial View API and photorealistic 3D tiles in the Map Tiles API which showed us all the creative ways you've used our digital twin to showcase new ideas and tell better stories about places. Now we've extended our portfolio of products even further to help you create more immersive experiences, no matter what you're building for. Whether you want pre-rendered videos using Aerial View, to use your own renderer with map tiles, or leave the rendering to us in your JavaScript applications, there is an option for you. This is just the beginning, and we can't wait to see all the engaging 3D experiences you build with Maps JavaScript.
and I'm joined today by Ken Navarez, Developer Solutions Engineer. Hi, Haley, and welcome, everyone. At Google I.O., we also announced that we're bringing the capabilities of our Gemini model to the Google Maps platform, starting with the Places API. We are taking our rich information about more than 250 million businesses and places and combining that with Gemini's generative functions to create helpful summaries of places and geographic areas that can be shared right in your apps and websites. These summaries are created using the Gemini model to analyze the place information and insights from the Google Maps community of over 300 million contributors, helping you display the most up-to-date information possible in a fresh new format. We're also adding additional data to the result set returned by the Places API search. This additional data contextually matches the user query. We call this contextual search results. Now, when your users search for places in your applications, you'll be able to display more relevant reviews and more relevant photos to help them more easily compare places and make decisions. These features are now available to all developers as an experimental release. Contextual search results are available globally. Place and area summaries are available in the US with plans to expand to more countries over time. With these new features, it'll be faster and easier for people to find the information they're looking for in your applications. Let me take a moment to highlight a few of the new capabilities. We'll start with summaries. There are two types, place summaries and area summaries. Place summaries come in two formats, a short overview and a longer description. Longer descriptions average around 400 characters and provide rich insight to a place. For example, for restaurants that would include must order dishes, ambiance, and service quality. Longer descriptions are available for many other place types, including shops, supermarkets, parks, and movie theaters, with more to come in the future. They require a minimum amount of data, such as reviews and business attributes, so are not available for all places. Short overviews average around 100 characters. Using the Gemini model, we're able to update short overviews more frequently and cover far more places in the US than their longer counterparts. Area summaries allow you to highlight things to do in the immediate surrounding area. Area summaries call out shopping, restaurants, and attractions within walking distance from a specific place. Think of area summaries as useful for helping a user understand the area around a place they might be spending time at. For example, an automaker can provide drivers with area summaries of their electric vehicle charging stations to better inform a driver of nearby things like coffee shops, restaurants, or stores. So a user can choose which charging station best suits their needs. Area summaries come in one format and are divided into content blocks. Each content block covers a specific topic such as things to do, coffee, shopping, and more. Lastly, we're now using AI to make it easier for your users to understand why they see particular search results by including more context with what we call contextual search results. So if you have an app that allows users to explore local restaurants, your users can search for dog-friendly restaurants to see a list of relevant dining spots. In addition to the results you're used to getting, the response will include review snippets that speak to dog-friendly nature of the restaurant, photos of dogs at the restaurant, and business attributes relevant to being a restaurant. This data can help your users make more informed decisions and give them higher confidence in the results you're providing. You can try the new contextual search results at no cost during the experimental phase, and we can't wait to see what you build. And for our last highlight at Google I.O., we're excited to announce the 1.0 release of our React integration library for Maps JavaScript API. Last November, we announced the alpha release of the first Google-sponsored library for integrating Maps JavaScript API with React, the very popular web framework with the goal of empowering React developers to effortlessly build rich geospatial experiences. This was really important to us since React is currently the most popular front-end web framework and in use by over half of front-end web developers. And there is tremendous community demand for Google Maps and React apps. So what does the React Google Maps library do for you? First, idiomatic React integration. The library incorporates elements from the Maps JavaScript API 
as React components for an intuitive development experience, complete with state management and hooks to access the underlying map instance. Second, extensibility. The included context and hooks unlock custom component creation to suit any specific use case. And third, integration with other frameworks. This release allows you to combine the strengths of the React Google Maps library with DeckGL, the data visualization powerhouse, to overlay compelling 2D and 3D visualizations in your Google Maps. For more information and to get started, you can find documentation and examples on the React Google Maps library website. And to further support developers, we also offer step-by-step -step tutorial as a code lab, as well as code samples for integrating React components from this library with other web components for common and complex use cases. We can't wait to see what React-based Google Map project you create. We hope this session provided you with a valuable overview of these latest features from Google Maps platform. To get an even deeper dive on these announcements, you can watch our IO session titled New Ways to Build Immersive 3D Maps and Create Geospatial Apps with AI. And you can also check out our workshop, More with Maps in Your Android App with Jetpack Compose. Both of these are available in the resources section of the webinar page and on YouTube. Thank you for attending today's session and happy mapping.